always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5. Good Tuesday morning. I'm Bree Groves with this News 5 update. And right now the search is continuing for Gannon Stalk, now missing more than a week from his home southeast of the Springs. On Monday, the Metro Crime Lab spent hours at the Stalk home. We don't know what evidence was actually removed, but a neighbor did tell us that he turned over a key piece of evidence that investigators are telling him was the break they needed. We're not revealing what that information is because it could compromise the investigation. Still, if you have any information that could help, call 719-520-6666. Falcon Stadium starting to take shape in the next two weeks. Air Force set to host the stadium series and a huge college hockey showdown as well. Crews have started placing the new flooring on top of the football field, which they're going to then cover in 3,000 gallons of coolant and 10,000 gallons of water to create that temporary ice rink. The Colorado Abs will be taking on the Los Angeles Kings on Saturday, February the 15th. Time now for that forecast on a weather alert day with meteorologist Sam Schreier. Forecast high temperatures are barely going to move out of what we saw from this morning, and there will be pockets of light snow dwindling, particularly in the southern kind of stretch of I-25 over Levita Levita Pass. Later today, it'll be so cold and there will be enough energy. Just really weak flurries could drop in a couple places an inch, but Honestly, the big story is just the cold. Not only today, the cold tonight. We are going to drop things into the negatives. Negative one to negative four springs to Pueblo. Eight below in Woodland Park, 15 below Westcliff. And here's what we're looking at over the next seven days. We've got it to 29 on Wednesday with some sunshine after that cold morning start. 40s to there through the end of the week. There's a chance of flurries on Thursday across the region, probably more so to Teller County. And everybody sees a little bit of snow chance by Friday.